I'm Cher Russell for mining.com.au and joining me today is Fraser Taviart, the Managing Director for Alma Metals. Fraser, it's great to see you again. How are you? I'm fine, thanks, Shay. How are you? Oh, I'm excellent. Thank you for asking. Uh, not as good as you and Alma Metals, though, are uh, today. Now, you've just released some key metallurgical data for the Briggs Copper Project located in Queensland. Uh, tell me, can you run me through the highlights here? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've just put out some uh, some superb sort of first pass results uh, on the MET test work. So uh, I guess the key takeaways are that using uh, very coarse grind sizes, uh, we've been able to demonstrate that through just conventional flotation technology, we can get sort of around about 90% of the copper uh, into concentrates. And those concentrates are going to have, you know, very attractive grades, uh, you know, in excess of, of 25% copper. Um, and with with low impurities, so yeah, that's that's very encouraging. You know, it, it's happened quickly, so the kinetics are very good. Um, very low reagent consumption, which is also very good. Um, and then the sort of the comminution test work has shown that yeah, it doesn't require a huge amount of power to, to grind the rocks down to these coarse sizes. So yeah, that all bodes very well for the uh, the potential uh, economic outcomes of the project. In particular, what do these results mean and why are they important for the Briggs project? Yeah, but I think that obviously the, the key thing, you know, when you're dealing with low low grades of copper in the uh, in the primary mineralisation, you, know, you don't want to be leaving you know, that, any of that value on the tailings gap. So, you know, it's pretty critical to have high recovery uh, and obviously there's a certain minimum sort of concentrate grade that you want to, you know, reach so that you don't get any penalty. So to be able to demonstrate that, you know, that we're getting, you know, 90% uh, into a very uh, attractive concentrate grade, I mean, that's that's a critical sort of milestone for the project, uh, very important. Um, and then the other key thing is because we can get away with, you know, a coarse primary grind size and the, the rock properties are, are what they are, um, it reduces the power consumption to get there. And that's probably the biggest input cost in the mineral processing. So, yeah, if we can have low power consumption, you know, rapid dynamics, and we get a very saleable product and we leave very little value on the tailings dam, that's the, the perfect outcome. So we're very pleased with that. Um, is there further work to optimise these outcomes? So, yeah, we've, we've got two other programmes underway. One is... Uh, uh, what the Met guys refer to as lot cycle testing, uh, and that's a, a slightly more real-world evaluation and could well lead to slightly improved recoveries and even higher uh, concentrate grades. So we look forward to those results uh, in two to three weeks. Uh, and then we're also looking at uh, even coarser uh, particle flotation. So we'll do some test work at 300 micron grind size, and that has the potential to reduce power consumption by you know, two to three kilowatt hours per tonne. So it has a very significant positive impact if we can demonstrate that that also delivers these types of, uh, of outcomes. So even though MetWork is a major milestone, uh, what comes next? What can we expect to hear from Elmer Metals over the next couple of months? Yeah, well, obviously, you know, we'll get some, some more Met results out, that sort of optimisation work, uh, as we've just discussed. But the uh, the key next milestone is, is a resource update. So we've got all the information from last year's drilling programme. You know, that's now uh, in-house uh, and in-hand, so we'd expect a resource update in uh, three to four weeks. And then a combination of that uh, and all of the metallurgical test work then feeds into the uh, the remainder of the scoping study. So we'll then start looking at, you know, mine design, layouts, um, mine scheduling, uh, and then putting a financial model around that. So we'd expect to have that sort of completed um, and distributed to the market in, uh, in mid-2025. Uh, listen, Fraser, it sounds like there is an awful lot of work to be done, but I do look forward to that mineral resource update uh, coming soon. Thank you so much for being here today. No, our pleasure, as always. Thank you.